Guys, I hope you're happy. Because I'm trying to make a decent moving picture for you guys. I got scolded by my wife. She's just not impressed that I'm using the stuff that we use every year and just thrash it on it. <laughs> yeah, she's not impressed I broke the lawnmower. <laughs> All right, it's Adam for cold start. So we're gonna do a thing. This Y2H is uh, pretty tired. I didn't uh, winterize her correctly. I need to get all the grass clippings out of there. It keeps kicking the belt, the drive belt. Leave me alone. I like this tool. Now that I've rudely interrupted myself, the battery's dead. This guy down here, during the uh, last mow season, I kept kicking the drive belt and wedging itself against this uh, this drive unit down here. So I want to look at the tensioner and make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do, which I'm hoping it's not, because that'd be a much easier fix on messing around with this drive back here. Inbred 20 horse. How's the guy supposed to get the grass clippings off? Here we go. Does not go the way I planned. So I'm going to get this uh, apparatus you're about to see here in a minute. Predict I'm going to fight with it for a good, I don't know, 12 to 14 days. Ah, yeah. Oh boy, still has gas on it. Who the hell knows how old that is? Starting the mower every time I want to use it. Battery's probably two years old. But as you can see, it treats my lawnmower very well. There's a deposit on that. Probably buy a six pack of beer with this bad boy. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up where we left off. It's a week later. Gotta take this duck off. This makes it a little easier on the snow. Dang it. Get out of there. And if you guys are wondering what this rope's all about, usually I kick it with my heel and I can lift up just like that. Take this cover that side. Get in there. Ouch. A couple more things over here. And this stuff will be out of here. If you put these clips back where you took them out, it'd be a lot easier to install later so you don't have to sort through them. Leaf blower almost worked as good as I wanted it to. Gotta get this deck tensioner cable out of the way so I don't rip it off after we place an extra thing. Get out of there. I almost had to yell at it. Yeah, a couple more years left out of that. Sounds great. Ship it. I'm always well prepared for the things I gotta do for YouTube. Get a little smart about it. It's supposed to rock like that. You don't want it too stable. Okay, after further research, this spring is actually in the right spot. It's a brand new dry belt from last, I bought it last year. The pulley bearings seem fine. I put a spin on them and they're not gravelly. It doesn't mean that the, the channels aren't worn out, but 
So I'm gonna try moving this spring from this spot to here to give it like another extra inch or so. Who this could be? No fun. I don't know. Ooh, I'm gonna pull this right down on top of me. Nope, I don't like that one. And once I get a couple more subscribers, more than 13, not that I'm doing it for that. I'm just having fun right now. Uh, I'd like to get a decent camera. That almost hurt. <laughs> Man, I just need to be a little stronger. Danger, danger. I got an idea. I could reach this one. I can't reach this one. So I'm gonna poke a hole right here and I'm gonna reach that one. <laughs> that battery's nice and charged. First hole. Turn that right up. All right, I'm gonna lay in metal filings now. That's that's good for you. Flopping on the ground like a dying fish. I just. Ugh. Oh, I got it. Might be just a touch tighter. That's all I need. Well, it's more than a fellow ask for. Made that look pretty easy, didn't I? So for a couple of years, and I go reverse, it goes very slow. I think I might have found a problem. But look at that. It's going from neutral to reverse. Oh, get it. So I wonder if I could throw a bunch of washers on there to tighten that up. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna notch this out. <laughs> I might do both. All right, after all that hard work, I think my biggest problem isn't what I was working on at all. It's when you push the parking brake in. Okay, this has gotta go. Get out of my way. Yeah, relief hole. Relieved. Burger brakes on. Get out of there. Get out of my way. You see how much slack kicks over the back there? I wonder if this whole drive train shifted on me or twisted. Oh boy, here we go. Jerry rigging 101. <laughs> Got this whole kit a couple years ago when I worked on airplanes. <laughs> I'm off Amazon for like 50 bucks or something like that. I can't see. That's, that's the wrong size anyways. That's cool. Yeah, why check the size first? Just go right at it. Right there. That doesn't look as normal or anything. Oh, filthy mess. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to take this axle right out of here. There, it's adjusted now. Is it fixed? Absolutely not. I think we'll do the right thing, go uh, buy another new belt next week when the shop opens. Use the wrong tool long enough, you'll eventually get the job done.
All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I was horsing around on the lawnmower, and I got, I done broke it. Got some crackage going on there. Some more uh, breaks over in this corner. Sheared, sheared this lever right off. The one for the the lever, so you could push it. Yeah, she just she's not doing so healthy. So I gotta, I'm gonna take it all apart. Probably gonna do that off camera because there's gonna be some swearing involved. And <sighs> I guess that's just the way she goes sometimes. All right, I got it out. It's not too bad. Once you pull the battery out on the, on this model, it's pretty easy to get out of there. I'm gonna need a new uh, cap. I need a new uh, transactional release bracket so I put my release tube driver back on. Other than that, I think it's either low on fluid for the reverse or this unit is just beat. So I'm gonna get Wes over here. He's the He's a welder and my uh, group of friends. Yeah, thrash are good. Yeah, my uh, doll mass is under there. Wiggling this out of there just on that propane tank. I'm like, I'm gonna drop this damn lawnmower right on my head. I gotta get out from underneath there. We're having fun learning this together, guys. I'm not here to tell you how to do it the right way. I'm showing you how if you do it the wrong way long enough, you might get it done right. Cold snack, polar engaged. So uh, I don't own a welder because I do all my uh, maintenance in my front yard. You'll have that. Sacrifice some garage space for family living. So this is what I'm left with. And that's fine. It's fun. Oh, it's paved driveway, so it's all right. Yeah, so that... Could be way worse, kid. Could be way worse. Wes from uh, Complete Toilet came over to bail me out of... He <laughs> came over to bail me out. Cause my dumbass uh, want to try to do some wheelies. Uh, it was already broken. You just broke it more. I just finished it. Yeah, you just finished her off. How do you feel about welding next to that propane tank? It is empty. Hundred percent. So we're gonna do the right thing. Use this uh, quality. I mean, fucking quality. Cut off wheel. Do some grinding with. Cause why would you put a grinding disc on? Grinding I it's think. all right. I got a little bare metal now, so the welder will take care of the rest. Just so you guys know, I did have my uh, safety squints engaged. They're just made out of flesh. Do you want your helmet? Yeah, probably. Not my lungs. <laughs> Not my more. <laughs> Not beautiful, but functional. All right. <coughs> oh, wow. I'm a huff paint like that in a minute. <coughs> anyway, kids, these are not rated for welding. You want to know how I did it without going fucking blind? You don't look into the light. You sh use the torch of the fucking welder to shield yourself from the light. But you can still see the white. See if that makes sense. Figure it out. I need to get one of those welders and do some learning. And yes, you. this is a legit jack stand slash, you know. <laughs> oh man, I forgot we did that on top of a propane tank. <laughs> it's fine. That's why they have valves. Okay, I just got back from the parts store. I got a new uh, bypass lever that replaced me for the one I sheared off. So we're all good there. Bought a new uh, drive belt, roughly the same size. Obviously the one I pulled out was slightly stretched. So I think uh, I should be able to limp it through a uh, mow season. You don't deserve an oil change. All right, I tried buying a uh, small thing of oil. And guess what they didn't have in stock? 
small thing of oil. This is what it takes, 5W50 transmission hydrostatic oil. I'm not an oilologist, but this is what I'm gonna use. Just gonna top her off, but since I spend over $50 in oil, Just hammering it. Mm. Looks like it's still pretty full. Magnet. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. Some oil in the old dirty bucket. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> that don't sound bad. All right, let's throw some oil in it. All right, I got three liters of axle juice here. It calls for 2.2. .2. So I'm just gonna dump it in until I feel it's okay. All the way where it needs to be. Yeah, see what I just did there? I almost thought it was a good idea to stick my finger in that open hole with all the gears moving. Yeah, don't do that. All right, I only got a liter in there so far. Whatever that means. That's full. Give me a race lawnmower now. Well, who knows? 2.2, two quarts. I don't know, but that's as much as that's going in there. Maybe if I overflow filled it, it'll just blow out the top. We'll see. But uh, I'll get back with you right after I get this uh, reinstalled since I didn't show you how to remove it. Okay, guys, got a little customization going on here. When I, go, when I went to go throw this uh, revert or this gear shifter or forward reverse directional changer thinger this guy right here when i was in full reverse mode with that do jobber installed it was not lining up so what a guy did meaning this guy i just took it out so i'm not gonna have a reverse blade safety which i don't typically use anyways leave it right in this mode here i hope this is one of those uh stories where you I adapt and overcome fix it in the wrong way till it works the right way kind of deal this machine's old i kind of take care of it and <laughs> then no no wheelies this time guys sorry If there's any ladies watching, I think that's a uh, goddamn success. Okay, guys, thanks uh, for watching my uh, moving picture. Yeah, I went into this project with little to no experience on maintaining or adjusting on a mower. The most I've ever done was just change uh, the belts and blades and all that, take the dock off. I've never had transaxle off before. There's a lot of things I would have done differently. Like I would uh, check the adjustment on the, the rod there, make sure I was getting full reverse. That cap, the fill cap is pretty rough shape. I'm, I'm still thinking that needs replacement because I don't want to leak all my very expensive <laughs> transactional lubrication. That's just, no. The machine's just old and beat. I would not recommend configuring your machine this way if you have kids or you're concerned about maiming or injuring somebody because there are some safety features off just i'm not telling you to do it this way this is all entertainment this is what my show is entertainment bye